Dress code optional, quite literally. An almost naked themed party hosted by a popular blogger in the lead up to the holidays in Moscow has gone viral in Russia. Blogger Anastasia Ivleva organized the party in the heart of Moscow's nightclub district on December 21st. Partygoers showed up half clothed or with barely anything on, with outfits made of mesh, lingerie, and other creative materials to strategically cover limited parts of their body. But photos of the almost naked partygoers have sparked outrage across some parts of Russian society. Internal criticism has mounted about how a party of this nature could go ahead as Russians continue fighting on the front lines in Ukraine. Orthodox church officials, pro-war activists and pro-Kremlin lawmakers have all denounced the scantily clad partygoers. Attendees are now facing legal action. A court verdict against the party said the event was aimed at propagating non-traditional sexual relationships. Rapper Vasio, who showed up wearing a sock covering his intimate areas and not much else, has been found guilty of petty hooliganism by the Russian courts. He has been sentenced to 15 days in jail and fined 200,000 rubles, or roughly $2,200. Planned New Year's parties organized by celebrities who attended the party have been replaced with other stars. Ivleva apologized via her Instagram page, posting a 21-minute video asking for forgiveness and a second chance. Other celebrity partygoers have followed suit. In a previous video, Ivleva claimed the event was an opportunity to showcase photos created during her tenure as the chief editor of the now-defunct Russian edition of Playboy. Ivleva also faces legal action and hefty fines. A collective lawsuit filed against Ivleva on Tuesday by 22 people and initiated by a Russian actor seeks compensation of 1 billion rubles. That's $11 million for moral damages. Backlash against the party comes as authorities in the country are pushing an increasingly conservative and homophobic agenda. Just last month, Russia's LGBTQ community movement was deemed an extremist organization by the country's Supreme Court. Bianca Nobolo, CNN, London.